the preview Brissac Novices Chase will kick off day two. Two mile five foot on grade two. Great, great Sadler. Darren Thompson, the Wild Witch, Joshua Sutherland, Charlie Reach, Graham Clutterbuck, Craskend Avenue, Darren Thompson, Lawrence Redanson for Derek Hinton, Radiant Hartley on Van Rinsburg, The Miss, Joshua Sutherland, Crucial, Elsie, James Shea, C. Gold, David Hooley, and Stop, Look and Listen for Leon Van Rinsburg. A field of 10 for this day two opener. And away they go. We're still at Oi Tui, and it's The Miss on the outside. He's going to lead into the first. So they all get over nicely, and now Stop, Look and Listen has gone into the lead. So Stop, Look and Listen for Leon, who had a pretty good day yesterday on day one of the we two meeting. Craskend Avenue is in second, then Seagold and the Wild Witch, and the inside great Saddler being driven up to take closer order as they all take the second. And Seagold has now put his head into the lead. As they make their way towards the third of the 19 fences they've got to negotiate in this one. All safely over fence three with Seagold now settled down into a clear lead. I'll take these railings, this is a strange, remarkably strange situation to expect novices to jump things like that. All a bit wacky. They get down to the next, which they're all safely over. And Seagold continues to lead from Craskend Avenue in second. In Radiant Heart and the Miss. We get over some more railings and all, all over that one, okay. So it makes me cringe every time I see them jump those things, thinking of these horses, they might wrap their front legs against them. That could be I mean, the end of them, wouldn't it, really? They could be the career could be over, or worse even. I really don't understand why they jump things like that. But there you go. A great follower of French jump racing, so I don't really know whether this race is um, actually run over a course like this where they do jump those top of race, but if they do, I can't imagine the likes of Nick, um, Nicky Henderson and Co. Sending their top noise chasers over to jump those things, but who knows? Craskend Avenue is in the lead. Crucial Elsie is in second. Then comes the Miss and the Wild Witch. Lord Dancing is back in fifth. And then Great Sadler. They take this Grand National Stock Awards. And can you imagine if all the horses that ran at Cheltenham in real life all then ran again at Liverpool and then all ran again? In Ireland, and then all ran again in France all the space of a few weeks. It would be oh, wacko jacko, wouldn't it? But anyway, it's Craskend Avenue in the lead. From the missing second, Crucian Elsie is third. In the Wild Witch. Law Stradanson and Charlie Rich as they get over the next. They're all still on their feet. Radiant Heart is the back marker. Oh, Leon Van Rensburg then into the final mile there and Craskend Avenue is in the lead by about a length and a half to the missing second that is a three length gap back to oh there's a four there Radiant Heart's gone uh, Radiant Heart's gone at the back and Leon's other one stopped looking listening is under a bit of pressure as they come down to the ditch that they're going to take instead of those runners because they've got that other shoot of the track pretty sure maybe in real life they, they don't go down that at all, I don't know. Anyway, it's the Miss and Craskend Avenue are clear of Seagold in third. Stop looking and listening, and then Lawrence for dancing as they take this ditch. And always oh, gone this time. Stop looking and listening. So is Crucian Elsie. So two fallers there. And I think it's probably between these leading four now with three to get over. Craskend Avenue is in the lead. The Miss is in second over the third last. Then comes Seagold and Lawrence for dancing. Charlie Reach is trying to reach them, but I think he's going to be. Struggling to get into a challenging position, but he's doing his best to certainly forget the back two. But it's Craskend Avenue, and it's not very often you see a Darren Thompson and a Joshua Sutherland horse tailed off coming into the straight. But it's Craskend Avenue, who's good three to four lengths clear now. Seagold in second, over the second last they go, and Seagold looks a big danger to Craskend Avenue. But Craskend Avenue is still going well in the lead. They race down towards the final fence. 
And over it they go, Kraskin Avenue jumped it well, but Seagull jumped it better than Miss was untidy back in third into the final third on and Kraskend Avenue now being pressed by Seagold. Kraskend Avenue from Seagold is a bit of a head bomb between these two. They're well clear of the rest of them and Seagold is starting to go on. And Seagold takes it. Seagold wins it for David Hill. Then Kraskend Avenue, the Miss Charlie Witch, just a bail on the third from Lawson Dancing and then Great Sadler. And I've got a feeling Joshua Southern doesn't trail his horses at Oi Toy because not done that well with them this week here and they don't seem to like the course much but Seagold does for David Hooley Kraskin Avenue second for Darren Thompson the missed third for Joshua Southern Charlie Rich or well, Grand Clitter was fourth and Lawstra Dancing for Derek Hinton was back in fifth